I'm Kendra, and today we are going to study about the regions of Canada. If you want to become a Canadian citizen, you need to pass the citizenship test. Everything we study is from the Discover Canada Study Guide. This one is Regions of Canada Part 2. If you didn't watch my first video, go and watch video number one. This is video number two. In part one, we read about the oceans of Canada. Now, we will read about the regions of Canada. From Discover Canada Study Guide, page 44, and page 45. Here we go. The regions of Canada. The regions of Canada includes many different geographical areas and five distinct regions. How many regions are in Canada? Five. And what are the names? The Atlantic provinces, Central Canada, the Prairie provinces, the West Coast, the Northern Territories. Here we go. Atlantic provinces include Newfoundland and Labrador, Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick. What are the Atlantic provinces? Newfoundland and Labrador, Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick. Isn't it beautiful? It's so beautiful. Next region, Central Canada. Quebec, Ontario. This is where the capital city of Canada is. The capital city of Canada is in Ontario, which is in central Canada. Region number three, Prairie Provinces. Prairie means flat land. Look at that picture. Look how flat that is. We grow uh, wheat and corn. The prairie provinces are Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Alberta. The next region is the West Coast. That's just one province. British Columbia. And finally, the North region has Nunavut, Northwest Territories, and the Yukon Territory. Look at that beautiful sky. Those are the Northern Lights. So, these are the capital cities of each province. For the citizenship test, you do not need to know all of the capital cities. You just need to know your capital city. What is your capital city? I live in Saskatchewan. The capital city of my province is Regina. What is the capital city of Ontario? Toronto. What is the capital city of Nova Scotia? Halifax. Good. Today we will not talk about all the capital cities. Your first writing assignment is get a notebook. And, oh, where did, there we go, get a notebook and a pen 
and write, I live in, what province do you live in? For me, I live in Saskatchewan. Don't forget the period. My province is in the Prairie Provinces region. The capital city of my province is Regina. Look at region, R-E-G-I-O-N. But Regina is R-E-G-I-N-A. Okay, so your first writing assignment, stop the video and write the sentences. Ready? You have another writing assignment, number two. Look at this map of Canada. Number one is in British Columbia. What region is number one? It's the West Coast region. Look at number two. What is that region? Please write the region in your notebook. Number three, what is this region? Number four, Ontario and Quebec, what is that region called? And number five, what is that region? Please write in your book. You can pause the video and play when you're done. Finally, if you like to study, if you like to write, you can do one more assignment. You can copy this table in your notebook. You can write region, Atlantic provinces, and then write all of the provinces. You can write the capital cities, but if you just want a shorter assignment, just do the region and the provinces. This will help you remember and pass your tests. Finally, I have five citizenship test questions. These are real examples of questions on the Canadian citizenship test. So if you study these, you will remember more and you will pass your tests. Okay? So how do you study these? Well, you read and you write and you speak name the five regions of canada the west coast the pacific wait no that's not right so you read and you write and you speak and you can listen to this video number one name the five regions of canada number two what are the prairie provinces and their capital cities? Number three, which region covers more than one third of Canada? Oh, I forgot to tell you. Look at region number two, the north. It is very, very big. It covers one third of Canada. The North region covers one third of Canada. Number four, what are the provinces of the Atlantic region? You have to look. Atlantic provinces? Oh, Newfoundland and Labrador, Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick. And number five, what are the provinces of central Canada? Study these to pass your test. 
when you are finished, you will have so much information in your notebook. And you can read it again and again and again and again. And you will become a Canadian citizen.